facade front or face of building superficial or false appearance yes folks that is right today we are talking about facades but not just any facades the facades you see at universal studios halloween horror nights hollywood my name is anthony from the knights of horror and today i will list you my top 10 favorite facades from universal studios halloween horror nights if you're new to the channel and you're watching this video for the first time or any of my videos for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bar to let you know when I post up a new video. I post up new videos every week and since it's Halloween Horror Nights season, I've been posting a lot of Halloween Horror Nights uh, themed videos. But without any further ado, let's get started with my top 10 Hollywood Horror Nights Hollywood facades. Number 10, La Llorona. La Llorona was a really cool maze to go through. If you're not familiar with her uh, tale, it's about a girl who uh, drowns her kids over a guy and um, then she regrets it. Then she kills herself and now her ghost forever haunts Mexico looking for her kids. They say you can hear her cries and stuff. Uh, it's a pretty freaky tale. But this uh, facade was so cool because it was the opening to a church. And it was cool when you went in. You went inside the church. So... I, I put this as number 10 because this is actually the first year I went and looking at this facade was just so cool I mean they got like the church bells on top of it on top of that It looks really cool from the outside when it's all lit up and stuff. So I, I really liked the way this facade came out Number nine goes to Alice Cooper's welcome to my nightmare now I know I put this in my top 10 HHN maids videos, but Alice Cooper welcome to my nightmare was the first like I said the first music maze I ever went to and the facade for this was just phenomenal. Now, it's really cool that uh, you walk into like an abandoned kind of like Hawaiian looking house. I like the, the style. That that was really cool. And just like La Llorona, it was like another maze that when you when it was lit up, uh, it looked really cool. Like there was light effects that like would flash and then the house would make like a face of some sort. I really enjoyed this facade and honestly it looked a lot, it looked a lot better at night. Because I know when you get there early... Um, Sometimes the effects aren't as good as when they are later on the night. And this is one of those mazes that had that effect. Number 8 goes to Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2012. Now I really liked this facade because it was really cool. If you watch the uh, new Texas Chainsaw movie, um, or the latest one that came out in 2012, um, you did see that it was uh, heavily based on the house. And this front of the maze uh, was the house from the movie. So that was really cool to see. Especially because if you're a Texas Chainsaw fan like myself, uh, you're familiar with the house. So it was really cool to see the house and then you walked inside the house and it, it was just really awesome to see. Number 7 goes to The Walking Dead, the 2012 maze. That was a really cool uh, facade. That was actually the first year they ever did Walking Dead. And it was cool to go through the uh, opening facade because you walked outside and you see the coroner's uh, van. And then you see all the dead bodies like you did in the first season of the show. And then you walk inside the hospital, which was really cool. But it was really cool because if you looked inside the van, you saw a guy pop out uh, like a zombie. He was eating someone. So it was just really cool to go through the uh, hospital. And like you, it was like you were walking through the first season, which I liked a lot because uh, I'm a huge Walking Dead fan. And like I said, it was just cool to see all the dead bodies on the floor like they did in the first season. And like the van and uh, the zombie eating the person in the back of the van. And then you walked in and it's right uh, as if you're Rick walking through the hospital. It was just really cool. Number six goes to uh, From Dust Till Dawn. Now, this is actually from the series From Dust Till Dawn that was on the Al Wright Network. And if you didn't watch it, it was actually a really good series. Um, but the facade for this maze was so cool. It was actually the twister, uh, the bar that they use in the show and the movie uh, From Dust Till Dawn. And it was cool to see the twister as you're walking in. You know, you see the lights and everything. And then they had the the guy announcing like what's what's at the twister and stuff and when it's open and still and then they had the um they had the gecko brothers outside and they were kind of just uh mad dogging you and stuff it was really cool to see all that it was they brought the maze more to life in my opinion and as a fan of from dust till dawn it was just cool to walk in the twister and stuff and i was really glad that they brought this maze to life number five goes to american werewolf in london now american werewolf in london was such a good movie and going through the maze, bringing it to life was really cool. But the facade was just so awesome in the front. It was the um, it was the bar scene from from Dust Till Dawn, the slaughtered lamb, and it was cool because you walked, uh, you saw the outside. It was like just for like the movie, you you saw the outside, then they walked in, and then you know you have all the guys telling you about the werewolf story and everything. And it was just cool to see uh, the slaughtered lamb come to life. I like that whole facade, and then that whole opening when you're in the bar. That was just really cool to see. And 
like I said, American Werewolf in London is one of my favorite horror movies. So, I mean, to see that come to life and them making, like, an actual, like, slaughtered lamb outside was just really cool. And, like, it really brought it to life for me. Number four goes to The Walking Dead 2014 maze. Now, this maze was cool because it was the prison, so that was really cool to walk through. The outside was so cool. I mean, it was the facade to the prison, so it was cool to see um, you walked in and you're walking through the gates, and then it said Atlanta uh, Correctional Facility, and then you walked into the prison. But before you walked into the prison, there were zombies outside, so that was cool. It gave it more of the uh, Walking Dead effect. On top of that, once you walked into the prison, it was the prison scene, and all in all that facade was just really cool like they had the the guard tower on fire and stuff like they really brought that facade to life and i was just so excited walking through that maze and seeing that uh they had brought it to life it was so cool number three goes to this is the end this was the first comedy maze that um john murdy had ever did for Hall halloween horror nights and it was cool to see the facade because it was actually james franco's house on top of that the maze was in 3d so if you put on your 3d glasses and look outside it looked really cool um, but you know, it was just all cracked up and on fire, just like how it was in the movie. And on top of that, you saw Michael Sarah on the lamppost, which was really funny to see. And he was cussing up a storm like he did in the movie. But to go inside James Franco's house and then that opening scene is the, you know, the front room and stuff. That was just really cool to see. And you know, like I said, like I keep saying all the time, John Murdy always doesn't fail to uh, bring all these uh, facades and mazes to life. And you know, it was really cool to walk through it. Two goes to Halloween, Michael Myers Comes Home. Now, Michael Myers Comes Home facade was so cool because it was actually uh, Michael Myers' house. And if you were in line, you actually got to see the outside. Had like a little, almost kind of like a pre-show before going in the house. If you looked in the windows, you can see Michael stabbing his sister and stabbing some other people, which was really cool to see. On top of that, they were playing the main theme song, which was really cool. Then you walk into the house, and you're in the front of the house where Michael Myers is upstairs in his uh, infamous clown suit and mask with a knife and stuff and he's looking down at you that whole facade was just really cool and it really helped bring um, the Michael Myers theme to life uh, just walking through the house was so cool because I've been a fan of the Halloween franchise for so long and to finally go walk through a living horror movie as uh, as a uh, Halloween was really cool to see and at the number one spot is the exorcist now I have to say, out of every facade I've ever seen at Halloween Horror Nights, they, you know, they're all good. Don't get me wrong. John Murdy always does a great job on the facades. But I have to say, The Exorcist was probably the best facade I've ever seen at Halloween Horror Nights. Why do you ask? Because, well, if you've ever seen The Exorcist movie and know a lot about that movie, walking through the maze, it was actually pretty cool. Because in the front of the facade was the father coming to the house and the light shining down at his face. Not only is that an infamous scene in the movie, but that's actually the movie poster for the movie. And it was cool to actually see, bring that to life. So you actually walked into the light like if you were the father. But they had like a wax figure of the father on the outside. And, you know, it was the brick house and everything and the light coming down. It, it was just so cool. Then you walked inside and then you saw the Ouija board and then her uh, doing the spider walk down the stairs. It was just like an awesome facade. And like I was really impressed when I walked through it. I was like, wow, this actually looks like I'm in the movie. So... Exorcist is number one and my all-time favorite facade. Top 10 favorite facades at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. Uh, let me know what your guys' favorite facades are. I know there's a lot of out there's a lot of facades out there, and if you guys have been going before I have, I started going in 2011. If you guys have been going before that, though, let me know in the comments your top 10 facade list. I'm interested to hear them because uh, there's always a lot of great ones out there, and I could probably agree with you on some of them. Guys, Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights opens up this friday september 15th 2017 i am su super excited i will be there with my cousin if you guys uh, want to know how much time we have left until halloween horror nights as of this video being uploaded boom there it is on the screen all right guys thanks for watching be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell to make sure that you are aware of when i post up a new video uh follow us on social media and if you guys see us at halloween horror nights on september 15th don't be afraid. Say hi. Uh, if you don't know what I look like, I have a couple videos up here that show my face. Look out for me. I'll be there. Me and my cousin will be filming. We're going to have a good time. So I will see you guys at Halloween Horror Nights. Or if you guys are not going to make it this Friday, I will see you guys in the next video.